Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since we did a colouring catch up, so I thought we'd start a picture from Romantic Country 2 Second Tale because I recently picked this up. This one that's been hanging around for a while, I haven't bothered with buying, but I thought I'm gonna have to get it. So I'm gonna do Henry's Bookshop, and I thought it'd be nice just to have a quick colour and a catch up because we. You know, we haven't done anything for a while, so I'm just having a look. Dark brown, dark umber. So we're going to start with doing the, um... <sighs> Do you know what, I'm not really with it today. The thing, so... I'm hoping to be able to do this... <coughs> Excuse me. Every weekend, possibly every Sunday depending on time just simply because on a Sunday Paul's home so it's easier for me to do some colouring because he can look after Jennifer she starts crying I don't have to worry about stopping and going to sort out whatever the problem is with her so, so it has been a long time, so I'm hoping to do one a week now on a Sunday, a Saturday or Sunday, sometime over the weekend. So we can just catch up on the week and see how things have been. So this last week wasn't too bad. Paul had Friday off because it was his birthday. And he finishes his job on Tuesday next week because he starts a new job on the following week. He's got some annual leave to use up, so... So that was nice. So on, on Saturday yesterday we went to Roth. You might have seen the Roth vlog and the flea market vlog and I picked up some stuff to resell when I start doing that. Um, next week is going to be a horrible week because tomorrow morning at 9.30 Jennifer goes to nursery for the first time. It's only for an hour. It's what they call a... Um, Oh, we've got really blurry. Settling in session. And she's got four of those. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. So she's got an hour tomorrow when I'll go with her and stay with her. She's got a two hour session on Tuesday and I will leave her there. I won't be going far if it's, you know, I'm not going to bother going very far um, because... Uh, in case they call me back because she's kicking off big time <laughs> which she may well do but I'll be I'll just pop to Greg's and have a cup of tea and a, a cake or something while I'm waiting for her if it's if it's nice I will go for a walk around the pond by my office and take some photographs to try and um, test to, to test some of these cameras I've got because there's a lot of cameras to test so it's a long haul project to test them all but that's that's fine I don't mind that so so then uh, Wednesday she's not going in and pulls off so we're going to possibly I think pop to Kifili No, what, no, not on Do you know what, what am I thinking? No, on Wednesday we might go to Newport. It depends. We might go to Caffilly. And then she's in Thursday till 12, for two, again for two hours. So they want to see how she does with the lunch bit. And then Friday she's doing another two hours. And then we're going to Caffilly. So we go to Newport on Wednesday and Caffilly on Friday. Just have a look around. There's something to do because Paul's off from Tuesday because he finishes his job on Tuesday and he starts his new job the same day I go back to work which is on the 21st which is going to be even worse the next Sunday I'm not going to be a happy girl because I don't want to go back I would much rather stay at home with Jennifer because I've enjoyed it very much being off with her We'll see how it goes though. I can always leave if I need to in the end. 
at some point. So I'm just doing the bookcase. This is going to be very boring for you with all the browns. So a bit more in there. Um, so yeah, I, I know this book's been out a very long time, but I haven't hadn't picked it up until recently and it was either this one or Joanna Basswood's World of Flowers and I wasn't in the mood for flowers. So I thought, do you know what? Not in the mood for flowers, so let's have let's do um let's get romantic country. It's been on my wish list for ages. I will pick up World of Flowers possibly fairly soon. It really depends on how much money I've got when I get paid at the end of this month because obviously I've got to pay her childcare. Um, and some other bits and pieces, you know, so I've got to make sure I've got enough money for that. Unfortunately that comes first now. It's horrible. It's a horrible thought. So I am still watching the colouring videos. I'm still watching the Bibliophile Colourist, the modern color, modernist colourist. is somebody, he's fairly new but he's really good. Obviously, um, Grace and Anne and Sharon and all those I, I'm still I'm still watching the videos it's just I just don't have time to colour very much so I'm going to take around half an hour or more on a, on a Sunday to do some colouring and I'm not worried about how long it takes up loads anymore because we've changed from Sky to Virgin Media because they've put in the fibre optics now so we got the fibre optic broadband and although it's not as powerful in the sense that upstairs it's terrible, you can't get any, you know, I, I've got, we've got to get a Wi-Fi booster for upstairs, it's very quick. It is so fast. I uploaded a video that was like 15 minutes long and it did it in 5-10 minutes. So I'm hoping that'll be the same with these ones, these longer videos. They're not, they're, I'm hoping they won't take so long. So. This is going to be a bit of a test. So, uh, what I was wondering is, do you want to see my... I mean, it's been a long time since I've done a colouring book haul because I can't remember which ones I've bought um, since the last one I did. So what I was thinking is I might do a my complete colouring book collection. If you'd like to see that, just let me know. Just leave a comment down, down below and I can do that next, uh, uh, next weekend when I do my colouring catch-up. Most of my books are on a couple of shelves in the be in the bedroom. I've got just over a hundred, hundred and eighteen or hundred and twenty or so, I think. Um, and most of them are up in the bedroom. Some of them are in a bag. They're the ones I'm using at the moment. So I've got a bag full of work in progresses. Um, then I usually have a shelf of completed. I might do that next as well just to show you what I finished the pages at the second half of 2018 which wasn't very much but if we, we might do that so we can put them all in together and we know where they all are then so but there are books I've bought I, I mean I bought only one Christmas book I bought the Jade Summer Christmas current book the vol volume 2 and I only did one page in that and I only did one Christmas page over the entire Christmas period. I did start another one in the Hannah Lynn Christmas book which I will finish and I was going to do one in Joanna's Christmas but I never just never got around to it. I just never had the time. It's it's just so difficult with my young baby. Hopefully as she gets older it'll be easier for me to sit on the sofa and maybe just colour for half an hour of an evening so I'll try and get that Hannah Lynn one done even though it's a Christmas one and we're not in Christmas anymore or I might just save it till July and do it for Christmas in July so yeah it's it's been lovely being off with her, um, but it is very difficult to find time to do anything. Because if she goes to sleep, I've got things around the house to do, you know, like washing and cleaning and dinner. And, and, and a lot of the time I put her down and she will start crying because she doesn't want to be put down. She's in that clingy phase at the moment. 
but uh, you know I think as she gets older it probably will get but a bit easier when she's old enough to colour it'll be great not that I wanted to get old that quickly but I can put her at the table with me and we can sit on the floor and we can colour together So I had a nice Christmas, as you saw on the Vlogmas, the Christmas Day vlog, it was lovely. I had seven books for Christmas and I think I've only got one left to read. I think I've read them all, apart from the Wizards of Oz one. I think that's the only one that's left now, the Wizard of Oz. And I have started it, 70th anniversary. I, again, I've got so many books to read, that's why I'm not, I'm not buying books. They were books I was given for Christmas. Um, that I wanted but I'm not buying books particularly at the moment so why I'm not really doing any booktube videos because I just don't have the time to read like I used to I mean I still read a good amount of books last year I still read 76 but I got so many books I just don't see the point in buying a lot of new books unless it's an author I collect so for instance uh, Jodie Taylor, Terry Goodkin, Terry Pratchett that sort of thing or if it's a Marilyn book. There's not a lot of points in me buying books because I can't read them. Um, Andrew Cartmel's got his new one coming out again. That's in May. They come out every May. And that's fine. I will get that one. And I'm sure Peter James, he's another one I collect the books of, will have a Grace book, a DI Grace book coming out in May. He had a book come out in November I think and I had that for Christmas and usually as the I Grace books come out in around May and I usually get it and save it for my holiday and take it on holiday with me and I'll probably do the same this year I did that last year because I really like those books they're really good but yeah so it's it's very hard I mean, like, like I said before, live streaming at the moment is something that's not going to be possible. I think I've said this before. Um, I know a lot of people love live streaming. Personally, I'm not a big fan of it because unless you actually watch it when it's live, there's a lot of chatting going on with the people in the comments, and that's fair enough. But when you've missed all that and you can't see what the comments are, you can only hear the one side of the conversation, it's a little bit, you think, oh, I don't see the points. So a lot of the time, if I've missed a stream, I don't watch them back. Um, just because I, I don't know what the conversation's about because I'm only getting one end of it, one side of it. I totally get why people like doing them and I totally get why people like watching them because when I watch a live stream, I really do enjoy it and I join in. Uh, but it's very hard, especially with the... Um, when you're watching American YouTubers because of the time difference. Sometimes they'll post very early in the morning and it's like, yes, I can watch this one. Um, I mean, so I, I will watch them back if it is something I want to watch. And certain YouTubers, I definitely will watch back. Regardless of it being a, a live stream. But a lot of the time it's a lot of people thank, saying, wait now, I'm just going to wait for some people to come in. And uh, they say hello to everybody and like 10 minutes later they still haven't actually started doing what they've streamed, supposed to be streaming. And that gets a bit frustrating. And I'm not saying I'm never going to live stream because I probably will. I might do one day if enough people want it. But with Jennifer, it's going to be very, very hard I'd have to get a, a tripod for my phone, a phone mount for my tripod because I'd have to live stream via my phone but for, if I was doing colouring chat or colouring catch-ups um, if I'm just doing a, a general live stream I can use the the webcam on the, 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 the uh, laptop but for um, the most part it would have to be, you know, if if we were doing something we're looking at, it'd be phone stuff. So it is just hard. Oops, you can't see what I'm doing. Not that it matters because I'm still just carrying these brown lines to 
still. So we get these bookshelves done. Or this part of the bookshelf. I mean, I can hear Jennifer whimpering downstairs. I mean, she's just trying to get her dad's attention. It's nothing. She's not in any pain or upset. She's she's fine. She just wants some attention from her dad. So yeah. And you can still can't see what I'm doing. I'm not, that's why I'm not very good at this. It's been a while. It's gonna take a bit of getting used to. So I like these romantic country books. I've still got book three to get. But like I said, I'm trying not to buy books and that includes colouring books because I'm just not using them. It's hard to know where to do it on some of them. That's a shelf there. That's a shelf there. Yeah, it, you know, it's just having the time with a baby because she does want a lot of attention and she deserves a lot of attention. She is very, as you know, she's just a lovely little girl. So yeah, I plan on doing some more of my Marilyn scrapbooks. Again, I will probably film them on a Sunday. They won't go up on a Sunday, but I probably will film them on a Sunday. I might not, I might try and do them in the week, but we're going back to work, it is going to be very difficult. Because I'll be going in mornings and then finishing around quarter to one, pick her up from care at one o'clock, or you know, a little bit before one out, but, and then We'll be coming home to do what we normally do. We'll have to do our normal bits and pieces, so. Uh, For instance, I'll have to do my normal, the normal places I go, the normal things I do. Now, my mum and dad are having some work done on their house soon because they live in a council house. The council are redoing all the electrics the bathrooms and the kitchens. Can you imagine the disruption that's going to be for an elderly couple? It's going to be a nightmare. I mean, my dad's not very well anyway. So to have the kind of disruption is going to be horrendous on them. So I do feel for them. So I did say that they can come up here if they need to get away from it. Particularly my mum because the, the knocking and the banging and all that when they're doing it is going to drive her up the wall. That's starting on the 8th of February. It was going to be the 18th I think. But they've, they've brought it forward. It was going to be January. Then they put it back because they didn't have the new radiators in. And then they pulled it forward again, so they must have got them in. But uh, I know my mum's not looking forward to it. But I said she can come and, and stay, you know, come up our house and just watch TV, have a cup of tea. But I'm getting pins and needles. <laughs> That's the only problem with it on the floor. Yeah, so. I've got another jewellery video to make. It's just getting around to it. Again, it's having the time. So I just thought it'd be nice just to do a colour and catch up because we haven't done one for such a long time. And we can see what's going on and have a catch up chat. And uh, 
use the knife. Try and, uh, yeah, just chill for a bit because I've missed my colouring. I do miss it when I don't get to do it and it, I might take a colouring book with me Tuesday, just a small one and a few pencils. Perhaps a nice little town or something, that's a nice small one. One of the small pencil cases. Perhaps a Black Widows or something like that. And just give me something to do while I'm having a cup of tea. While I'm waiting for Jennifer to finish her two hours. Yeah, especially if it's raining and I ain't going to stay in there. I'll just drink tea after tea and Greg's. I think they've got cafe part in the one in by the office. I said if it's nice I shall take some photos using one of the cameras I've got just because it'll be nice to test some of them. So I've got some, so many. I did have a look at the auction yesterday. Well, they, they, what they do is they put the catalogue up on Friday for Saturday and Sunday. They have a Saturday auction and a Sunday auction. And Saturday is just general household stuff and garden. Very unusual to find anything much in that one. Sometimes, yeah, a bit. But not always. And then they have their antiques and collectibles. General sale with antiques and collectibles on a Sunday. And that's usually where the good stuff is. But there probably was a lot of good stuff. But nothing that I would particularly want. So yeah, so at the moment, as you can see, it's a little bit, a bit dull doing all this brown. Just nothing. don't put any other colour on. Just two different shades of brown. It's not finished, obviously. Um, but I won't. In this, once I've uh, finished this episode, or this colouring catch up, I'll probably carry on colouring this page. But I'll do the brown stuff, and then we'll do the bear in the books together next time. So, because you don't really want to see me shading and and putting some extra layers on the the bookcases, it would be very very boring. And what I'll do is once I've uh, what I will do is I will hopefully next weekend it'll be it won't be this weekend it'll be next weekend do my completed complete colouring book collection. Um, and then we can vote. You can just you can let me know what ones you'd like to see me colouring so so one of the things I like to do to, when I, I'm not in the mood to watch a particular person so like if I'm not feeling particularly well or I've got a headache or oh, I missed a bit down here huh silly me um, or I'm not in the mood to concentrate too much. I like to watch some walkthroughs of computer games. So, like, for instance, I'm currently watching um, Spyro the Dragon. Um, the second one, which was called, in the States, it was called Ripto's Revenge. Or Ripto's Rage, sorry, not Ripto's Revenge. Ripto's Rage. Over here it was called Gateway to Glimmer. It's quite, uh, and I did have it, I haven't got it anymore. And it's quite relaxing just sitting there and watching the little dragon <laughs> flying around. <laughs> and Jennifer likes it too, she seems to like watching the little dragons. So that is nice, you just sit there and we watch the dragon together. And, uh,. It really, really doesn't take much for me to do. I don't have to concentrate on it. It's not like reading or... Or if I'm watching one of the resellers I like, like What the Hales or Carousel Clothes or Nick and Andrew Hills or the Celtic Traders. I don't want to forget them.
you know, and, and there are loads of them. I actually like to watch and see what they're saying so that I can maybe learn something. But sometimes I'm not in the mood to, to be concentrating that hard on stuff. I'm in a bit which is hard for you to see. Because I actually want to hear what they're saying and see what they're showing. But with a computer game, you just put it on and you just let it play. Another one I've been watching is the Tomb Raiders. And I've watched, is it one and two I've watched? I'm on three now. <laughs> Something like that. It's really sad. I know, it's terrible. Just sit there watching somebody else play a computer game. But, you know, hey, why not? It's something interesting I really do find it interesting to to watch because I am other much I like playing computer games I really like playing them but I haven't got the patience to just play them until I finish them now my brother he hasn't like six games five or six games over Christmas that'll last in the year some were Xbox One and some were PlayStation 4 games. And he will sit and he will play one game on each platform until he's finished it. So he'll have two games on the go, one for Xbox One and one for PlayStation 4. And he will play that game until it's complete. Now me, nah. -uh. I cannot do that. I get bored too quickly. If I get stuck, that's it. I, I, I gotta give up because at least for a while, because I get frustrated. I remember I used to play Spyro and I played the first three Tomb Raiders. I played most of the Tomb Raiders actually. And the same with the Spyros. And I never finished them. I finished the first, only, only, I finished two games on PlayStation 1. And that was the original Tomb Raider and the Discworld game. I'm just not very good at them. But I do like watching somebody else play them. Because I find that quite relaxing. I just sit there. I'm just going to finish this Henry's books bit with the the brown I'm using. I missed a bit down here again. That, 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 there, that. Stupid, I mean it. And I think that's enough, and it's very boring watching me colour all this brown in. So, what I'll try and do is before next weekend, I'm not going to say it's going to definitely be done because I just don't know. I will try and finish the shelves and I will try and pick colours for the books. So, the books will be different colours so I can hear Jennifer shouting let me go down in a minute so yeah what I'll do is I'll try and finish up all the shelving and possibly in the gaps as well in between the shelving and the books just by doing half an hour every night or so <laughs> hear it voice I'll love her art and then I've just got two little bits to do. And then what I'll do is next next weekend we'll come in and we'll do the books and all the bear and the books or something like that. We'll might do the so yeah. I'll, I'll try and get the shelving bits done so that it's all done because it's been rather boring half an hour for you. Listen to me ramble on about very little and just colour brown in. How very boring for you. <laughs> so yeah we did our shopping today and Jennifer went for a ride in the trolley which she absolutely loves because she can look around and see what everybody's doing and she does like that. Oh I better go and see what's going on aren't I? Right so that's all that. I'll try and finish all the bookcases and the bits behind the bookcases before next week and then we'll do another sorry it cut out and the battery's dying um, I hope you've enjoyed this 
um, I will see you all next week. Leave some comments below and I will try and get another video out next week as well and we'll carry on with doing this. Hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you all soon. Bye!